Trump said in the 2016 campaign, I could shoot a man in the middle of Fifth Avenue in New York and people would still vote for me. And there are some Americans who will do that. He was a media whirlwind in 2016, and in 2023, Donald Trump is back in the media spotlight with his criminal trials and his hopes of winning the 2024 presidential election again. The former president insists on his innocence and accuses the media of a witch hunt against him. That narrative resonates with his supporters who are increasingly committed to his cause. A conviction or even just the indictments probably hurts him more than helps him. However, in the primary process, in the nomination process, it's clearly helping him. It's taking attention away from the other candidates. But the bigger issue with simply saying Trump is leading in the polls is that the media is buying into a self, uh, basically a, a, a reinforcing narrative. What happens here is, is the media give all the attention to Trump. If the media actually made this a level playing field in terms of covering candidates and issues, rather than treating this as a circus with Donald Trump as the ringmaster, then you might get a true democratic process rather than one where the media effectively is an accomplice to what is an attempt by Trump to anoint himself as the Republican nominee. Despite Trump's shadow continuously looming over the Republican candidates and overshadowing their electoral platforms, there's a broad understanding that the former president's figure remains crucial for winning the party primaries. That individual? Well, there's an immediate answer regarding the Republican candidates in their debate on Wednesday night in Wisconsin and why six of the eight said, look, even if he's convicted, uh, I support him becoming president. And that is, is that the political calculations for almost all the candidates is, if you say that Trump shouldn't take office, you lose any chance of getting voters who are Trumpist. And to be honest with you, that has been the phenomenon for the Republican Party since Trump became president in 2016. Outside the Republican ranks, the national mood might be pointing in a different direction. A significant percentage of American citizens say it's time to turn the page, even for Joe Biden. 75% of American voters do not want a repeat of Trump v. Biden. You know, 66% of, of Republicans don't want him to run again, and a similar number of Democrats don't want Biden. So I think a lot of Republicans will say, it's time to move on. 